A volcanic eruption near Grindavik in Iceland has led to residential fires in the southwestern fishing town. This marks the area's fifth volcanic event in two years and the second in recent weeks. On Sunday, following heightened seismic activities, two new fissures opened near Grindavik, prompting a preemptive evacuation the previous day. The initial eruption occurred early in the morning, approximately 450 metres from the town. Despite barriers diverting the initial lava flow, a second fissure later emerged, leading to the destruction of several homes. The eruption produced striking visuals of bright orange lava streams and a towering plume of smoke. Grindavik residents, deeply affected by the event, described the scene as surreal and devastating, and that's understandable. The town's renowned Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa also announced its closure, no surprise there. Iceland's president scheduled a national address, assuring the safety of lives but expressing concern over potential infrastructure damage. Air travel remains unaffected. The Icelandic Meteorological Office noted the unpredictable nature of the current eruption with fluctuations in intensity observed. The country's Civil Protection Agency has escalated its alert level to emergency, signalling potential risks to residents and the environment. Since 2021, the Reykjanes Peninsula has witnessed multiple volcanic episodes with a significant eruption occurring last December. The town's population, previously evacuated as a precaution, had only recently begun to return. Concerns extend to livestock within the town, with urgent efforts to rescue trapped sheep underway. Additionally, the nearby Svartsengi geothermal power plant serving the peninsula's 30,000 inhabitants is under close watch. Separately, a search operation for a missing individual presumed to have fallen into a fissure was discontinued due to safety risks. Iceland's geological position, straddling the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates, contributes to its frequent seismic and volcanic activity. Unlike the 2010 eruption, which disrupted European air travel and forced evacuations, the current eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula are not expected to produce extensive ash clouds due to the absence of overlying glaciers. That's the news so far. We'll continue to keep a close eye on this and we'll update you if anything changes. Thanks for watching.